I also did not want to have a PB&J be my last meal. And <laughs> I love food, and so that did not want to be my last meal. And I also wanted to see my family. Plenty of things ran through Nicholas Stay Alcantara's mind in the hours he was stranded in the wilderness. Some of those were the worst possible thoughts. I really wanted to either die or kill myself. The teen from Fresno, California found himself in that bad situation while out on a hike alone and the weather took a turn. I didn't want to die that way. Like it was just like shivering and alone. I hated that feeling. He used the few supplies he had and his instincts to protect himself from the cold. Well, besides the snow cave, I tried to um, layer up. I knew my chest was more important than my feet. I knew if I lost those, I could still live. So I really just put kind of tied my uh, my uh, jacket uh, ends of my jackets together. After making it through the night, he was found by some skiers. They contacted search and rescue crews who flew Nicholas to safety. I was like, help. I thought I was high or drunk. I mean, I don't blame them. But. Nicholas still has bandages wrapped around his frostbitten feet. Doctors don't think he'll lose any toes. Nicholas knows somehow he cheated death. That situation, I know I should not have survived. I'm a 17-year-old kid with no survival instincts from Fresno, like a city of 110 degrees. Like that, you're not supposed to like survive in 30-degree weather. And the lesson that he learned here is not to go hiking alone ever again. Now, it's not sure when he'll be released from the hospital here, but when Nicholas gets home, he'll have quite the story to share with all his friends. Live in Salt Lake City, John Franke, Fox 13 News, Utah.